I'm gonna try to do it, but like we've been telling you guys, after the sprays, we got the wind for days after the rain too. We had a lot of rain. So we're back in the garden. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. The latest one was talking about why Car Tucker Carlson was silenced. And basically it's because freedom of speech is dying in America right before your eyes. And if you don't say what the system and the program wants you to say, they're gonna cut you off. And we've witnessed it for three years now in America. And it's been louder than it ever has been before. And some of the other stuff we're talking about is how they're sabotaging the environment. Uh, you know, to take away our opportunities and our abilities to take care of ourselves. So my wife and I, we grow food in this garden area here. We grow 90% of our own food. Uh, we just had taken out all the rocks we had between our walkways here between our garden beds. The reason why we did that is because we had rock in there and it was the rocks were too big actually <laughs> so if i would have spent more money and got the smaller pebbly size rocks i probably would have been okay but the larger rocks uh, were starting to cause a problem pulling the buggy around harvesting the food and as we're aging you know we want to just make sure we have sure footedness and we're walking around just fine so we decided it was our decision mine actually uh, to get rid of the rock and go with the fabric and we'll let you guys know how that's going. But so far, Stacy's enjoying walking on it and everything else. Now, one of the other things we're addressing is growing food out in the open air. So we're gonna be setting up a high tunnel. So what I've done here is we've taken out some of our blackberries. If you live on the uh, West Coast in Oregon, you're probably happy. <laughs> I have to take out this row right here. See what I mean about this wind? I have to take this row out right here, all the way back up to there. And then this is where the high tunnel is gonna go. Now Gary and a few uh, buddies are on the way over and uh, we're going to show you guys the beginning steps of putting together a high tunnel. establish a straight line, your corner is going to be about right here. Alright. Man, you should have seen it yesterday and today both. Alright, I had to do a little dirt work before we got started here trying to get this thing semi-level. Man, was it out of whack. So that's one thing you want to do is kind of get your level going and maybe a little drainage so if any water gets in there it doesn't pool up. Gary's just now establishing our corner right here and we're going to show you guys how each step of this goes. I got to go up front and get the trailer with all the supplies. So I'm up front here. I got to switch over to my forks and I'm going to show you how I'm going to get this trailer. The trailer's right there. I'm going to get this trailer with our supplies down by the greenhouse. I'm going to show you this little gadget. But what I want to do real quick is bring your attention to the skies. Now that's the same skies I showed you the other day that was full of crisscross applesauce and how all that happened and now you can't breathe and all that in the air. And now I want you to look at my skies. So I guess today's Monday, right? May the 1st. And there's not one single streak in the air. It's cold outside. So I guess there's absolutely no planes flying in the sky today. Absolutely zero planes flying in the sky today one streak in the sky today after I've showed you proof of the other streaks in the sky and look at the clouds and everything looks pretty normal <laughs> Man, this wind is something else. They got this gadget you can put on your forks. And that way you can put your hitch right on it.
Establishing our four corners. Do we got to move this one? First pole's going in. We're just going to use a T post driver right there and we're going to hit her in. It's windy. That was kind of a stretch for old Curtis. Old Curtis getting fired up. We got to get a little over this way. Way this way. Yeah, we got to go in straight. Got to start her straight. About where Gary's thumb is where we got to go into the ground. All right, we're just gonna rinse and repeat four times. Not a plane in the whole sky, all above or anywhere out there you can see, not a one. <laughs> I just wanna keep letting you know, there's not a one. Oh my gosh, man, come on, y'all. Just admit the truth, would you? <laughs> so we got our four corners in and now we're setting the line. So each post has to be spaced apart, you know, a certain amount. So we're marking the string and then they're coming behind us and then driving the post in the ground where the mark is on the string. Tips and tricks. Now we ran a string along this top bar here. So we have every pole in exactly the same. So we have it tied off on this ridge right here. And that way the ridge will be on this line for all the poles going down the line. There you go. Now we're working on the purlins. The purlins will connect all of the arches together. He's uh, fastening the middle purlin up there to keep those together. And then we're gonna cut this one. We'll have a purlin for the side and for the other side. Got it. about had enough man this it's this work in the wind is like working double time this is what we got done one day four guys we got all the posts in we got the purlins in and everything's buttoned up next up we're going to be putting in the door frames on the ends and those are metal so you like to see how that goes together and then what we have going on are the sides they're roll-up sides so you want to see how all that goes together man 
took four guys seven hours and that's how far we got right so stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already hit the thumbs up on the way out for the few tips and tricks and we're going to show you guys how to put together a high tunnel that'll help you grow more food make sure you subscribe so you can see part two of the high tunnel coming together <laughs> Did you guys know that in the 16, 17, and 1800s, chocolate was consumed as a beverage? There was no such thing as a chocolate candy bar. Well, we're bringing chocolate tea back to the 21st century because it's loaded with antioxidants our body loves, and it's a great source of magnesium that's wonderful for bone and heart health. It's a great addition to your coffee machine or your French press or just along with your favorite sweetener. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com along with our brand new tea infuser. Simple to use for easy steeping. Cheers.